Yes, sir. Now, that, now, continuing with the whole R. Kelly theme, there's been so much, you know, coming out, you know, on R. Kelly. But um, Master P, Master P, you know, um, put out a video today sitting in his home theater that we're going to expound on. So let me play this clip right now, and then um, we'll get right to this. Lifetime just made a lot of money. Everybody knows Lifetime is. That's a reality show. Six seasons, six episodes of that. Let's be real. Now, the truth, what I don't like, the parents, if you somebody daddy and you knocking on the door, pitching them window, they got your daughter, now y'all know, I ain't going to be on no reality show or Lifetime. I'm going to be on CNN, straight up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get real. Think about it. Yeah. I'm not about to play with nobody. I'm going to burn it down. I'm going to do something. So I'm telling y'all, that's what I don't like. This ain't your kid in there. My character gone. God know I believe, I trust, all that, bro. But that'll be out the window. Mm. And nobody gonna play with my kids. Straight nobody. up. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you children. shouldn't even been on TV in there. If you a parent, you shouldn't be on there unless you're on CNN from a jail cell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. Right. So I don't know if R. Kelly did it or not. That ain't my business. I ain't judging. But I'm just saying those parents shouldn't have let that go that far. And they shouldn't have been knocking on no window, throwing no rocks if they know somebody in there with their kid. You know, and now if you got your kid and your kid come out and they won't go back, that's on them. At least I tried as a parent. But if my kid in there, it's going to be all out walk. Everybody coming outside, yeah. to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't respect that part. That's the part I don't respect. Because if you got love for your kids, you going, you going to walk behind your kids. You ain't doing no reality show. For real. You know, so that's straight up. I don't get that. I don't know if the man did it or not. They already know if he got, if somebody been saying all them allegations about him, for one, my kid not even going up in there. Them going up in there. All right, Sam, man, you know, um, another angle, you know, of this you were talking about in the pre-production, you know, is this whole angle of the people benefiting off of this, you know, case, what Master P is talking about. And then, you know, the parents pretty much, we never heard of nobody doing nothing. To this guy, if there, if it was so many people, not to say that it didn't happen, we asked the question: If so many young girls were going to this sex cult, where were the parents at? Sam, man, give your thoughts on that. You gotta excuse me, old guy, because I'm about to go in. Because it's this. Do you think, man? This is okay. Because we've been very objective about the situation. Like I said earlier on Viral Hip Hop News, mm -hmm. we've been very prideful in being objective, and we've taken our number of criticism from both sides of the equation. Those who feel like R. Kelly is being railroaded blackballed etc those who think he's 100 percent pedophile we stay right down the middle let's keep it for what it is this man has been a pedophile for 25 years we all know what he did with Aaliyah. we all know the parent the license was forged she was 15 years old we knew then what exactly we know now the sickening part about this situation is lifetime someone that has historically had something out against r kelly for whatever the reason when the Aaliyah documentary came out he was the primary focus in the Aaliyah documentary pay attention the Aaliyah documentary what the fuck is r kelly the primary focus in the Aaliyah documentary and mm -hmm. then you have people when when a, a docuseries comes out now all of a sudden all these people once there's some kind of financial gain to be taken mm -hmm. want to come out and speak against this but when it was there when these acts were going on during the actual act where was it when we ever heard of r kelly getting his lip busted his jaw broke his fucking his his, his mm -hmm. eye socket torn off mm -hmm. his skull fractured when do we ever hear somebody going up their head now family right right you family now I'm, it's a straight hypothetical i see you doing something improper to a 10 year old 14 year old 15 year old girl in my presence mm -hmm. i'm putting hands on you mm -hmm. that can't go down in my presence we weren't raised that way mm -hmm. you can't tell me that grown men or grown women watched and sat there and let this man do these things and did nothing because you were being taken care of by the number one R&B singer, the number one R&B writer at the time. And the second that got dry, the second that got depleted, the second that no longer was available for you, now you got this some kind of moral fucking conscious compass on you and you want to go do a lifetime series and let it all air out and go do what the right thing is for some financial gain. It's <clears throat> whack. 
Mm. It's whack on all regards. And then the other sickening part about it, what's even more sick is you got these people out here that ride a wave and people that rode for his music, played his music Talk via DJs. It. People out here that called him the number one R&B singer of all time, this, that, and the third, are now putting the signs up fr kelly no it should have been fr kelly 20 years ago when he, when he wasn't making you money right. when he wasn't doing anything for you should have been our fr kelly then but you want to do it now you're hypocrites yeah it's messed up from the jump it always has been he's always had a problem mm -hmm. he should have been locked up long ago he should have gotten treatment for his issues because he has issues that stem back to his childhood probably from the day he walked out of his mama's womb mm -hmm. he has issues mm -hmm. so he needed to get those addressed before any other woman got violated, young woman got touched, any baby got taken care of. And now I want to point to this, oh God, and I don't mean to be long nah, nah, going, on you, bro. brother. Go I don't on. mean this. I want to have a learning lesson out of this. And I can't go, I, I can't help but to think about my own personal experience. I have a 10 year old son. Mm -hmm. His mother and I aren't together. She found out I cheated long ago and we split up. This woman is from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. So let's just say this shit wasn't pretty. It was ugly. I made a, a, a vow then and there that it didn't matter what I had to do. I had to take care of my child, my son, my second chance on life when I've made plenty of mistakes out here for me to have reasoning not to be here. When I looked in my son's eyes, I seen a second chance. So even though I made a fucked up with his mom, I had to make an obligation to him to take care of him, to swallow knives with her, to do what I had to do with her, mm -hmm. to make sure that they didn't have to go to court, didn't have to do this, and had to do that for the betterment of my son. Mm -hmm. We have to do a better job men and women that even though we may not be together even though parenting may not work out because it's normal right. that we do what's right for the kids because too many times ego gets in the way and then we want to jump on the phone and bash him and then we want to jump on the phone and bash her meanwhile this kid is suffering and those are a lot of those young ladies that probably fell victim to r kelly we got to do a better job yeah and it's like you know another great point is like you know um the parents do you know uh, deserve some criticism and culpability here and this because they should have been there, you know, um, either trying to get this guy prosecuted or something. It just seems like, I mean, I'm not saying I've never been in a situation, but it just seems like that, you know, R. Kelly is not the only one that should be held accountable, you know, for, for, for these hyenas acts that were, um, you know, done on underage women. The parents should be held accountable. How did they let this happen? But they go over here and now they want to make money. You know, they, they're taking this image and this likeness. And that's a whole nother thing, you know. Um, he's supposed to be suing him, but he probably won't. Who knows? Been did that. He said have been did that. That's it never came out, that's right? You know what I mean? Out. But you know what it is what it is, man. I definitely agree with hundred percent with everything. You know, you you got we got one thing. One thing we do on the Uncensored True podcast is we hit all aspects, you know, of the argument. You know, there's a lot of people going in on R. Kelly, and it's just do. You know, a lot of bandwagon people and all that. But we want to hit every single angle, and this is another angle. Where were? The parents definitely got to agree on Master P and you on that one. Definitely, bro. Yeah, man, indeed. I seen something in real quick just to end the conversation. Yes, John Benet Ramsey. I know you remember her, the young six year old female that was oh, a yeah. young, young lady that was killed. Whole big thing going on. It was a, uh, a series done, I'm thinking it was on ABC, that kind of pointed the picture that her younger brother, nine at the time, accidentally killed his daughter, uh, his sister. Mm -hmm. He just sued and got 700 and something million dollars what? from ABC. That documentary got took down all this. He was not playing. You mm -hmm. can't do these kind of things. Mm -hmm. So you're you're running a real slippery slope on a lot of alleged, even though we all have in our heart undoubted feelings that he has an issue and he dealt for some things in pedophilia and he needs help and needs to be jailed for those things. You can't do these kind of things. Right. It's a real slippery slope when you start diving in and start pointing fingers like this. And now you got you slandering. Yeah, pretty much. And, and, and the, the, the real messed up part about it is what I seen the perception of R. Kelly and literally days just go to from like, just because of this series on, on Lifetime from go to like, you know, him for being admired as being the king to like the worst guy. And, and whether it's right or whatever happened there, I wasn't there. It looks like he is indeed a pedophile. We we can see the power of media right now with that. So I'm just saying just be careful because this can this can have, definitely happen to anybody being on the um the other side of the media going in on you. Facts. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, definitely tuned into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother old god and sam man going in today on this monday kicking off the week the right way everybody on youtube do me two favors hit that like mm -hmm. well you think people think they feel like that's maybe snitching that's a, the, the reason they don't want to come out and say anything like, I, I don't get it man like you said if you've seen this going if you know about this going on you want to say something or do something let me tell you what called let me tell you what constitutes as being a snitch you watch it all these years 
you make an agreement not to say anything and as soon as soon as the money dries out then you take uh you a moral compass to go and say something not only are you a piece of shit not only are you accessory to pedophilia but you're also a snitch if you punched him in his face 20 years ago when you saw it and then went and told the cops you're a hero mm -hmm. you got a pedophile off the streets that's a whole different code mm -hmm. some things got some people got to get off the streets i don't give a fuck if they're black white yellow purple whatever if you out here molesting children you need to be off the streets and people need right. to just understand that that ain't snitching right that ain't snitching you sitting there covering it up for 20 years because you're getting money and then all of a sudden once the money dries out then you want to talk oh that is a rat yeah yeah and as you know you know um here's the thing i want to ask you you know um are you going to be checking out um r kelly puts his website out and he's going to be actually according to him and his team um exposing each and every one of the victims coming out are you interested in seeing that bro my opinion is this i didn't watch the docuseries i ain't <laughs> watching that <laughs> yeah. i'm not getting involved in this bullshit. i felt the way i felt towards r kelly when i was when i seen it as a child i was too young to understand it then like i said i loved i believe i could fly i would love the world's greatest when i was a teenager and a kid i sung these songs so obviously i looked up to r kelly like mm -hmm. a lot of us did the more you grow the more you understand the more you see what he did you can't respect what this man does mm -hmm. i wasn't in there enabling this man right you understand what i'm saying that's crazy <laughs> yeah google we had a conversation about that but man that's crazy, that's crazy. nah man <laughs> yeah it can't happen yeah no doubt no doubt definitely you know um agree with you on that one but you're tuned into the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Oh God, and Sam. And one more before we get out of here today, Sam, man, you talked about this earlier on your platform. Yeah, man. Centoya. I'll let you do it. Go ahead, bro. You got it. Centoya Brown. Yeah. yeah. Let me pull up the story real quick that I was reading earlier. Yes, sir. But yeah, she has grant, got granted calamity from Tennessee. This afternoon, she will be released from prison August 7th. Dope. We all know why she was in jail. She's been in jail for 15 years now. Mm -hmm. She was in a situation with a male. I don't got his name. I'm power phrasing right now. Mm -hmm. Involved in a sexual situation. She was being raped. Grabbed killed. a gun. Killed him. Yeah. She got sentenced to life in prison without parole. Mm -hmm. Then it was 51 years till she was able to gain a parole hearing. Everyone was talking. We got to get clemency in this situation. We got to get clemency. And finally... Mm -hmm. The, the governor, Bill Haslam, before he got out of office, he granted clemency. She will be free August 7th. This is great. This is something that's just due. She spent 14 years behind bars already for this situation. I think she has paid her debt to society. Oh, yeah. A lot of people think she shouldn't have been in jail at all. I'm personally uh -huh. one of those that feel yeah. the same yeah. way. Something should have been in there with self-defense. If you got a 14-year-old baby in there with a grown-ass man, the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. Got tried as an adult real fucked up system we got going on even when that regard but the right thing was done she is under the parameters of having to um she's on probation for 10 years which you okay. obviously you see yeah. that coming yeah she has to see counseling for her her trauma which is understandable and something that's commendable and one of the final things she has to do is go and teach and mentor young women young children who may be mm. going through the same situations she's going to Dope. and that highlights the point that we were talking about and maybe the brother hassan last week mm -hmm. we got psychiatrists coming in who are personalized and and, and have professionalism behind situations like this mm -hmm. so that we can kind of gain a better understanding of the mind frame of a young child going through these things without being able to physically go through the things ourselves it's a conversation Thanks. that needs to be brought up more we talk about the the, the predators but we often don't care about the prey as much we're going to try mm -hmm. to change the narrative in the conversation shout out to centoya brown yes, yes i can't wait to hear from you she has to also get a job so i want to in, implore anybody and i said this on my on on the thing earlier Anybody out there that's willing to give her a job if she's looking in the field, you got to give second chances to this woman and understand. Mm -hmm. We all know how the victim fell in role and things like that. She's going to have to be able to do shows and interviews, pay this woman for her time. Let's get her, you know what I mean, the second chance that she deserves. Yes, yes. But that's another episode of the Uncensored Truth Podcast in the books on Monday. We're going in tomorrow once again. We're coming at you at least four to five times a week. This Friday, we're trying to work on an interview for you guys, but you already know what it is. If not, me and Sam Ant will be live Friday night on Hip Hop News Uncensored at 8 p.m. We had a dynamic interview the other day with our brother Hassan Campbell. And we're going to keep bringing you, you know, more and more interviews. Your brother, old guy, Sam Man, everybody on YouTube, if you're listening, hit the like button and make sure you share the video. We should be introducing some new, um, you know, um, audience from um, iTunes and Spotify real soon. Still waiting on that. But if you 
do hit us in the future. Peace to you, and we do appreciate each and every minute that you listen to the podcast. Indeed, indeed. Till then, till next time, tomorrow, we out of here, man. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace.